Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview of these CPU coolers from Enermax. This is the ETD T60 and I have the standard version as well as the Vegas version. So we'll start off with a closer look at the retail box. As you can see these coolers support CPUs with TDP of up to and beyond 200 watts. Also supports Core i3, i5, and i7s. I'll go over the sockets in just a moment because it lists all of them on the side. And then as you can see here, this is the standard version with the black fan. And then uh, this one here on the left, or your right, my left, is the Vegas fan version. There's a slight difference between the fans themselves, which I will also detail in just a moment. But let's go over some of the uh, vital specs. So first off, of course, you'll want to know the compatibility. So the socket compatibility for these coolers for Intel is LGA 775, 1155, and 1156, and 1366. For AMD, you have AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, and FM1. Also, the dimensions of the heat sink, which are right here, um, but I'm actually going to point you down to these images here. So looking down at the fan, and this is a top-down firing fan as far as the airflow goes, 151 millimeters at its widest, widest point where the actual heat pipes stick out, 137 millimeters the other way. Uh, you also have a slight difference in the actual size listed here for the uh, Vegas version, so 151 still, but 131 millimeters side to side, uh, simply due to the different fan. Also here, measured from top to bottom, and here's a good spec to know if you're going to be installing this in a case that doesn't have a lot of horizontal space for an aftermarket heatsink fan. 112 millimeters uh, total height for the uh, from the socket, and that is for the TB version, and 115 millimeters uh, for the VD version. Also here you have the uh, fan dimensions, they are 120 millimeter fans of course. Fan speed varies between 800 and 1800 RPMs. Here's the airflow and this is one of the differences between the fan apart from the fact that the Vegas fan uh, lights up and we're also going to demo that. Uh, but you get a bit more airflow uh, with the black version of the fan as well as a bit higher maximum static pressure. Uh, they are 12 volt fans, twister bearing to keep them nice and quiet. 100,000 hour MTBF, uh, 10 to 21 decibel uh, noise rating for the black version, 16 to 26, oops, 16 to 26 decibels uh, for the Vegas version. They are four pin fans, so they're PWM capable. And then uh, of course with the Vegas one, you get the circular combo LED. Also just since I kind of skipped over it, uh, the total weight is 540 grams. You get six six millimeter heat pipes that help with heat dispersion. They're copper heat pipes and the fins are made of aluminum. Also there's your thermal resistance and thermal grease included is Dow Corning TC5121. And here's a layout of everything that comes included in the box. Of course you get a user manual. It is multilingual so you should be covered no matter what your native speaking or reading language is. Uh, it gives you a list of all the included components as well as a guide for installation whether you're using an Intel or AMD solution. I'm going to sort of do a walkthrough of the installation in just a moment here. But uh, let's also go over all the accessories that are included. These screws are simply to mount the brackets to the heatsink fan itself. You also have some thumb screws here and those are actually used in conjunction with these pillars and those also get mounted to the brackets. You have some washers, you have some nuts here that actually mount the uh, CPU heatsink fan from the back of the motherboard. You get a little plunger stopper guy full of thermal paste there. Uh, and then of course you have your mounting bracket. So this is a universal back plate. It goes behind your motherboard. You will put this side on if you're doing a uh, Intel solution. Flip it over and push that side against the back of the motherboard if you're going to be going with an AMD solution. Finally, two uh, brackets here. So this is the AMD part. This is the Intel part. AMD part only has one mounting point here for the uh, attachment uh, pillars and then if you're going to be using Intel, uh, reference a manual to determine which of these three uh, holes you're going to mount those pillars on depending on your Intel LGA socket. Here's a look at the heatsink fan itself. As you can see it is a downward firing style heatsink fan so the actual CPU would be down here at the bottom which is what that base plate will go on to and don't worry there's some protective plastic under there so you want to keep that on until you're ready to go through with your installation. Uh, the fan which is mounted up here is going to be pulling air from uh, it, within your case fires down across all of the cooling fins and uh, you get the benefit there of cooling your CPU as well as providing some additional airflow for other components around the CPU socket such as voltage regulation modules. 
Uh, flipping around here to this side, you can see they have a braided cable included with the fan. There's your four pin fan connector. You'll want to plug that into your CPU fan header on your motherboard. And then uh, if you look from the side here, you can see they have a fairly dense array of aluminum fins going across the entire uh, heat sink assembly. And then uh, here on this side, you can see the uh, actual heat pipes. Uh, again, there's six of these. They're six millimeter heat pipes. Uh, they're also nickel plated, as you can tell. They're copper beneath the nickel plating. Uh, the base plate down here has four extending from this side that go up into the fins. And then around on this side, you have two of them also extending up and going through the fins to help with heat dissipation. Now you do have the option uh, to remove this uh, fan if you want to uh, e make the assembly, ease of assembly a little, little bit easier, if that makes sense. Uh, so you can just pop off these little retention clips on either side. It comes off fairly easily. You also may note that there are some actual rubber pads here that the fan is resting on. That's going to help uh, reduce vibration and noise. And then the fan itself is fairly unique. It's got sort of a metal uh, ring going around the outside. It has an Intermax logo on it punched out, which is pretty cool. And then there's a look at the fan itself. I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the actually, actual installation process. So the first thing you're going to do, of course, is determine your socket. I'm going to be using the AMD bracket here, just for an example. Uh, you have these thumb screws that are included. They actually have a square uh, cutout at the bottom of the threading, so that will actually keep it locked in here. So you want to grab four of these, uh, pop them in through the single notch here on the AMD bracket, or choose the correct of the three notches on the uh, Intel bracket if you're going with Intel, and you just want to screw on all four of these pillars. With the four pillars installed, you're going to take the two brackets and fit them around the actual CPU base plate, just like so. They will sort of fit into place, and then you'll grab two of the included Phillips head screws, like that one, and simply bolt them down right here, and that will keep it sort of locked in on the heatsink fan. Now that your pillars are attached and the bracket is mounted to the heatsink, uh, next up you will move on to the actual motherboard attachment part. So first you want to drop these four washers onto the threaded pillars. Then you would actually take your motherboard and drop it on top of here. Um, in this type of situation, I'd actually recommend to just put the uh, heat sink like there, drop the motherboard down upside down on top of it. Of course, here's where you also would apply your thermal paste. And then you take the universal, universal bracket and drop it on top of the motherboard. Uh, it will go down onto the threads. And then finally, you have these hex nuts that you will tighten down on top of that. And they have included a hex nut adapter, so uh, hex nut adapter right there, so you can tighten these down. And make sure you have plenty of pressure there to uh, provide pressure between the uh, CPU back CPU plate as well on the CPU heat spreader. Uh, one thing to mention is that you do need access to the back of your motherboard in order to do this final step of the installation. So definitely recommended to either uh, have a case that has a nice big uh, motherboard CPU cutout uh, in the back of the motherboard tray or to simply do this installation before you install your motherboard assembly into your case. Finally, here's a look at the ETD T60 VD version, and uh, this one has the TB Vegas fan from Enermax installed there. It also has a plastic housing bracket that goes around the fan to hold it in place, uh, so that is partially why, or I guess only why, there is a bit of extra width for this version of the cooler versus the standard black version that we showed you. This one also has the braided cable, and it also has this uh, extra cable here with a button on it. And that button will cycle between the different LED settings, uh, which I'm about to demonstrate. So I'm just going to push the button a bunch of times and cycle through all these, so there you can see there are blue and red LEDs. There's the blue LED always on. There's a red LED always on. You can also have both on at the same time, so there's sort of the full effect. Tilt this down a little bit more. Uh, you also have sort of a rotational effect you can do with blue. You can change it to red, like so. Of course, you can also change it to both colors, like so. And then uh, you can go to sort of a flashing mode where it will flash blue, uh, or you can flash red, or you can flash both colors. And what's next? There's the and then uh, it will also have sort of a version where it will cycle between all three with that rotational effect. And then finally, of course, you can just turn the LEDs off. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Enermax ETD T60 CPU heatsink fan, available with the standard black fan or the Vegas LED fan. 
I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.